we have. Oh, yeah, we went past it ages ago. Hi, my name is John Cordy and this is like a letterbox, but bigger, isn't it? A bit bigger than your usual. Wait, wait. Oh, wait. This one's a little bit lower than usual, isn't it? John, you've been set up an alarm. <laughs> right, okay, so I'm going to imagine there's going to be quite a few places you could watch about this particular video online, but what I'm talking about is kind of the Eric Johnson-y pentatonic <laughs> That kind of thing. Or Richie Cotson or Eric Bonana Bonamassa, Bonamassa, however you say his name. Um, but yeah, Pentatonic Cascading Run. And just to keep it really short if you don't want to watch too much, I found the key to it this morning is actually starting the whole thing with an upstroke. So you start this note here. So I'm playing Pentatonic Run starting on the B and what I'm doing is I'm starting the run and then this part here starts with an upstroke and then another upstroke and then another so it's like alternate picking but it all starting with an upstroke which to me feels uh, a little bit counterintuitive to what I would normally do but I think there's probably Troy Grady videos on this if you're interested in that sort of thing. But it never really clicked with me what you're supposed to do with this kind of thing. So now, stop. And then imagine the run is starting and anticipating the beat. And then coming down, you've got the sextuplets. Landing on the beat with an upstroke, which is kind of cool. But the start part, you're kind of anticipating. Do that start bit kind of free time so you can hold it. Hold that part as long as you want. So, another thing that I was trying, so just slowly. Or. quite a lot more comfortable then okay, if I was to try that with downstrokes it might be a bit different different difficult that part for sure that end part where it's all falling on the beat is fine Upstroke, so something worth practicing trying both of them. So you've got kind of one, two, three, four, and kind of what makes it sound cool is you've got a group of four and then a group of six. Um, anyway, I think it sounds kind of cool. The other thing I was trying was. And again, all of the key parts are kind of starting with an upstroke and ending on an upstroke. Anyway, I think it's kind of the mechanics of it are, are falling under my fingers quite a lot better than I expected. Um, but that's kind of the key to it. And I think Eric Johnson, Sean Lane, some other people talk about starting with an upstroke. And I'm starting to kind of figure out why. Um, what I might do to, to get this even more under my fingers is practice just moving that shape around. So 
that's something that's literally new to me just today and I uh, should have probably figured this out sooner. <laughs> I was watching Richie Kotzen's Forever One, I think it might be the name of the tune, and there's that little run in there. It starts off something like that, but I've kind of taken the idea. You can do what you like with it. So that's just slowly all I'm doing. Take your pentatonic. And when you're running down, so we're starting on the B here, then on the 16th fret, start that part with an upstroke, down four notes, and then upstroke again for six notes down, then up a string and down again six notes, and then down another. So, down four notes, down six notes, down six notes again, down six notes again, and then back up an octave. Anyway, that's what I'm going to be working on. If you want to get the tabs for this, I'll tab out these kind of position things that I'm doing, playing it through all the pentatonic. And the two versions. And then also the backing track that I hopefully will play some of these over in the intro. Hopefully that's vaguely interesting. So again, all I'm finding is that starting the six tuplets with an upstroke <laughs> makes that picking pattern of the cascading pentonic, pentatonic, pentonic, pentatonic, quite a lot easier. Um, thank you for stopping by. If you want to like and subscribe, you could. Every Monday there's some sort of lick lesson that might be interesting for you if you're into this kind of thing. Cheers!